I will be comparing a fast centrifugal juicer to a slow masticating juicer. Before we start the video, I do want to say that I'm part of the Nama Well family. I've been working with them for a few months. They're amazing. They're an amazing brand. However, these two juicers are completely different. This is the first time I ever compare them and I'm going to do it here on camera with you. We will look at all the different features, the noise, the cleaning, how much juice they yield and much more. Before we start, I want to explain the differences of these two juicers. This juicer is a high speed centrifugal juicer. And basically what that means is that it has a blade inside that moves at high speeds that dices and cuts fruits to extract the juice from them. The Namawil juicer is a slow masticating cold pressed juicer. And the way that this extracts the juice is by grinding and pressing the fruits and vegetables to extract the juice. It's a slow masticating juicer. Another thing about the slow juicers is that the juice lasts longer in the fridge in a tightly sealed container. It can last up to three to four days. Whereas the centrifugal juicers, the juice gets oxidized more quickly, so it's better to drink it right away. So if you're excited for this juice comparison and product review, give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's make some juice. I will be making the exact same juice with the exact same amounts of each ingredient. And we'll be starting off with pineapple. So here I have three cups of pineapple and I will be juicing it in this centrifugal juicer. Pineapple is one of the hardest fruits to juice because of the fiber and it just gets stuck in the juicer and it's honestly a pain. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here is the pineapple juice. We have approximately 250 milliliters of pineapple juice. And this specific extractor has two speeds. It has a higher speed and a lower speed. So I made the juice using the lower speed. Before continuing, I do wanna show you guys the amount of pulp that was left over. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna touch it. It's, the pulp is really, really uh, liquidy. It sticks to my fingers and it looks to me like more juice could have been extracted from this. Now I'm gonna be juicing three cups of pineapple in the Nama. Let's begin. Done. I wanna note something on the juice. Uh, this one, the centrifugal juicer juice has a lot of foam and that's because the fruit, the veggie was exposed to more air during the extraction process. So you don't want that. You want less foam like this one in the Nama. There's a lot less foam here. I want to show you also the different colors in the juices. So can you see a difference in the juice? This juice is very bright a lot brighter, and this one, it looks less bright. It looks like a paler yellow and almost a little bit dark to where this means that it's starting to oxidize already. They both smell like pineapple juice, but I do want you to see the difference in the color. So you don't want your juice to oxidize because that means that it's losing all of its benefits in the minerals, in the vitamins, in the antioxidants, the whole reason why you're juicing in the first place. I have a lot of curiosity, so I'm going to try the juices. First, we'll try it from the centrifugal juicer. Now I'm gonna try it from the Nama. Both juices are sweet, but this one definitely I can taste the juice being more concentrated. It's way, way much sweeter and it feels more fresh. Uh, here's the pulp from the pineapple from the Nama. And as you can see, it's very different. I actually want to compare both of them with my hands so you can see a difference. So as you can see, this one is a lot drier. I can see the fibers in there and this one is, is, is very uh, liquidy. So you want the juice pulp to be like this when you're making juice, because that means that the juicer is doing its job. It's extracting everything it can from the fruits and veggies. Okay, now we're gonna juice the spinach. And spinach and leafy greens is one of the hardest things for a juicer to extract the juice out of, because look at this. 
it's super dry. I mean, how are you gonna extract the juice from this? It's really hard for it. So let's get started. Another thing that I wanna mention is the noise. The noise level of this juicer, it's really loud. At times having a noisy machine is not very convenient and it can be a little bit annoying. So here is how the juice got extracted from the spinach. As you can see, it just extracted a few drops, uh, not that much. And we'll see how much juice is extracted from the nama. Look, I want to show you the spinach. Seriously, it's like whole pieces of spinach. It pains me because greens are not cheap. Greens are expensive. Spinach is not cheap. And I want to get the most out of my juicer. So here I have uh, three cups of spinach the same amount that I extracted from the centrifugal juicer. Now we extract in the nama. Okay, so I stopped the juicer. It was still extracting a bit of spinach, um, but I stopped it because I think it extracted enough. Most of it is extracted already. Okay, so as you can see here, there's a lot more juice. There's no splatters all over the cup. It's a significant amount. You can see that there's another layer of juice there. Um, and also the pulp. This is all the pulp that was left over, maybe a little bit here that got mixed with the pineapple because I didn't clean out the juicer. This is all the pulp that was left over, which is amazing. And this is what you want. You're getting your money's worth of fruits and veggies. You're getting your money's worth of the investment in a juicer. Also notice that this juicer is a lot more silent than the other one and on its own, it takes the fruits and veggies and it attract, extracts it. In this one, I have to keep pushing, otherwise it will just splatter at me. <laughs> okay, let's continue with the celery. I have three cups of celery and I'm first uh, extracting it in the centrifugal juicer. Another component to the juicers, another difference, is that this one, for example, right here it says, caution, sharp blades, do not put hands or utensils down feed tube, unplug before cleaning and before assembling and removing parts. This is not very kid friendly. So if you have kids, um, you have to keep this away from kids if you are ever making juice because if you put your hand down this, it will cut your hand up. And one thing that I love about the Nama is that it has safety features for kids and for adults as well. And this one does not have blades, so it's very safe to have your kids partake in the making of the juices and make it more a uh, more fun experience. You don't have to worry about maybe leaving the juicer on and maybe your kid goes and grabs it. It's fine, it's safe. Now I'm going to extract three cups of celery in the Nama. Now we're moving on to apple, the next ingredient in our juice. And here I have two cups of apple, which I will extract in the centrifugal juicer first. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of that juicer. Uh, now we'll juice the apple in the nama. Okay, so now we're gonna extract two cups of cilantro. And cilantro is another leafy green. So very, very, very hard to extract juice from cilantro. So finally, I have two lemons that I will extract in the centrifugal and in the Nama well. I'm gonna cut the lemon in fourths so that it fits in the Nama. The moment of truth is here. Let's see how much juice was extracted from each juicer. We'll see the centrifugal juicer first. 20 ounces of juice. Okay guys, so here we have approximately 600 milliliters of juice, and here we have around 850 milliliters of juice. This is around 20 ounces, and this is around 28 ounces of juice. So 20, 28 ounces. Uh, not only that, but the quality you can see is very different. 
If you see the color, this one is a lot more vibrant. This one is a lot more green. And that means that it's already oxidizing. And as you can see, there's also a separation being formed in the juice already from the foam and little pieces of uh, fiber that are still left over in them. And this one has no separation. Definitely a huge difference. Uh, now let's try it. I am going to try the juice from the centrifugal juicer first. And now I'm going to try the juice from the Nama well. It's not because I love Nama, but honestly, this juice has a lot more flavor and it feels super smooth. And this one feels bitter. It feels like it's already oxidizing. And this one, wow, no, there's a huge difference. This one feels a lot more fresh than this one. And obviously it just yielded a lot more juice. Now we'll check the differences in the pulp. Here is the pulp from the Nama. Here we go. This is it. Now from the centrifugal juicer. There's still entire pieces of cilantro. Some, oh wow. <laughs> I mean, there's whole pieces of fruit and veggies. And here there's no, any pieces, no pieces of fruits and veggies. Uh, it's extremely, way more dry. Less fruit, less veggies were wasted in this uh, using the Nama well than this one. Now I'm going to pull apart the centrifugal juicer and clean it so we can see the cleaning process of each one. Here's the pulp container. Here's the top. It's actually pretty hard to clean this part because it's a very thin um, filter. So. So I'm gonna Continue with this later because it's very difficult to clean. Um, I think the best way to clean it is just to soak it in water and, and then rinse it out and then, and then wash it through. So now we'll clean the Nama well. Um, it's very easy to disassemble. It's just super, super easy to clean. I love that everything is plastic because it's just way easier to clean, lighter. It's a lot lighter than the stainless steel. So as you can see, it was such a better experience to clean the Nama than the other juicer. Um, and this is important because it will motivate you to use it more and as you know, the other one I remember with the fast juicer, it was kind of like thinking about cleaning it <laughs> didn't make me feel like making more juice. So I think that's a very important part to consider when uh, shopping for a juicer. Okay, so it's very clear that the Nama is the winner. It yielded the most juice, the best quality juice. And if you want to try the Nama Well Juicer, you can do so with a discount using the code NAMAYOVANA at checkout. I'll leave you guys the link below so that you can go and try it out. It's honestly an amazing investment for your health, for your family's health, and you'll have so much fun making juice. And the amazing thing is that they also have payment plans at 0% interest. You can check it all out on their website. I'll leave you the link below. If you like this video where I compare the two juicers, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it and what other product you want me to review. Also subscribe below if you have not subscribed because I upload videos every single week, inspiring you and motivating you to lead a healthier life. I send you all a big hug, lots of love, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.